Seven Springs, you should, you've gotten that right, you've gotten that connection. And the whole idea here is that there are seven springs, warm springs, feeding into this body of water. So guess where the fish are going to go? They're going to go right to where those springs empty into the Sea of Galilee. So it's a natural fishing spot. That's really important to know. So some things that took place we, we know. So this morning we covered, we said Jesus walked on the water. Just before he walked on the water, what took place? Remember? Yeah. Feeding of the 5,000. Feeding of 20,000 more like it. Right? And that was the miracle that kind of sent him into uh, forcing the disciples to get into a boat. And, um, and then he went up on one of the mountains to pray. Right, so those are the things that took place. I'm just trying to connect the dots for you so that you understand. So that's, Tabka means the seven shrimp. And um, so that that's all in this area as well. Then later on, this is it's called the primacy of Peter because so up at Caesarea Philippi, he told Peter, find your confession. I will build my church. Right? And that was... That was Peter's great confession. But what happened just before uh, Jesus was crucified? What did Peter do? What's his, what's the, his most embarrassing thing? Right, he denied him three times. So if you if you look at the Gospels, one of the things you'll notice is um, Peter ends up being separated from the twelve. Right? You don't 
You see Peter and John going to the tomb alone. Not, he's not with all the other disciples. So one of two things happen. Either they, either they pushed him out, or he simply, probably, he just was so embarrassed that he actually isolated himself. And the only one that kind of reached out to him was who? John. All right, so John's with him. He's trying to reach out to him. But Peter is suffering this huge humiliation. And, um, you know, it's like, I blew it. Um, I have no future in front of me. So what are we told? The first man. So he appears, after the resurrection, Jesus appears first to Mary Magdalene. Right? She's at the tomb alone. This is a woman. Mag Magdala is one of the cities. I don't know if we're going to get to or not. But that's Mary Magdalene. And, you know, was she a prostitute? Was she, was she demon possessed? We don't know. Okay. But, but she was also one of the great supporters. She was an eyewitness to the crucifixion. She was also the first one uh, that Jesus talked to. Right? Then he appeared to the women. Right? So women, Jesus elevates women, right? Yeah. I would say Jesus gets women, and women get Jesus, right? So, but the first man that he appears to, he actually told the women, he said, when you go and tell the, the disciples that I've risen from the dead, just as I said, and Peter, he, he singles out Peter. So then he appears to Peter. Then he's, then he's on, you know, he's, he's, he visits with the disciples and others up to 500 for the next 40 days. But um, there, there is this moment called the, it's called the primacy of Peter, where Peter's still not feeling, you know, like he has any future because he's, I mean, I've denied the Lord three times, right? And it's been a very public kind of thing. So Peter's out here, he says, He's back with the disciples now, and they decide to go fishing. And, um, and then from the water, they see someone on the shore cooking. Right? So you remember at the beginning of Jesus' ministry, Jesus, they came in from fishing all night, no fish. Throw your net on the other side. Peter's like, you stick to fishing, I'll, you stick to teaching, I'll stick to fishing. <laughs> but he does it anyhow, and then he's humiliated there. But Jesus tells him the same thing here. And then they come in, finally, and and they they eat. Well, you know, one of the things that Jesus is doing is he's showing them he's not a spirit. He's not a resurrected spirit. He's a re resurrected human, and that's that's part of the purpose for eating with them. And then uh, and then here's how he reestablishes Peter in front of. All of the disciples. And he asked him three really hard questions. Why three questions? Because he denied them three times, right? And and here's an, an important thing. If you could see the setting, the setting is the same setting in which Peter denied the Lord. Right? There were there were torches at night and fire. But Jesus is essentially recreating that scene, bringing Peter to the point. And then he asked him three times, Peter, do you love me? Do you love me? Do you love me? And and here is here's the test of really loving Jesus. This is really the test of feed my sheep. <laughs> so Peter, when when you thought you're on top of the world, you were thinking way too much about yourself. When you hit rock bottom, you were thinking way too much about yourself. Peter. Stop thinking way too much about yourself. And instead, feed my sheep. You know, love, love God. Same message, love God, love others. That's what so Jesus is connecting all those things. And then Peter is reestablished clearly as the leader, as the disciple. Uh, that's my nice call Peter's time. Okay? All right. You can take some shots out. Do they have five minutes? Five or? minutes and back to the bus. Five minutes and back to the bus. So get some shots. You have five minutes for shooting. Shooting yeah. pictures. Souvenirs, guys. Souvenirs. Souvenirs. Wherever they are beneath, it's a pleasure for the bus.